Galen George, and I'm an application scientist at Felix Instruments. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating to you the F751 Mango Quality Meter. To begin taking dry matter and bricks measurements, simply power the device on by clicking the green button. Once the device has warmed up, it will display a screen that states ready. At this stage, you are ready to begin taking measurements. Place the mango so that it's completely covering the lens, preferably around the equator of the mango. Then, all you have to do is click the measurement button, and in under 12 seconds, the screen will display a dry matter value as well as a bricks value. As you can see on the screen, the large text displays the dry matter value. The text underneath displays the bricks value. There are four other indicators on the screen. The top left has the organizational tree or structure. The top right has the number of records or scans. The bottom left has the timestamp as well as the date and the bottom right has the GPS coordinates. From this screen, you can navigate to the right and organize your measurement that you've already taken by selecting a lot from a list, selecting a previously used lot, entering a lot manually, or you can also delete your measurement. This is a good menu for organizing your measurement after you've already taken it. To navigate back to the previous screen, click the left arrow. And from this screen, you can browse your previously measured uh, scans. By clicking the up and down arrows, you can navigate and see what your values were for your other scans. To go farther up your organizational tree, you click the left arrow. This brings us to a summary page for fruit number one. As you can see, there are 10 scans or 10 records for fruit number one. The average dry matter value is 15.4 and the standard deviation is 0.6. To navigate even further up the tree, you click the left arrow and it brings you to the plant level. By clicking left again, you're navigating farther back up your tree to the plot level. This is the structure that we have put in place. However, if you have a different structure that you would like to have on your instrument, you can edit this by going back to the main menu by clicking left. From here, you can browse your measurements. You can uh, upload your data wirelessly to Fruit Maps, which is our application that is for harvest tracking. You can also adjust what the default lot is for your new measurements. Now this can be entered manually on the instrument as I previously stated, or you can also remove the SD card and put it into your computer and using the notepad app, you can adjust whatever your organizational structure wants, you want it to be. So from here, if I wanted to upload my data to my computer, I would simply remove the top rubber bumper and I would eject the SD card after powering off and insert it into my computer. This is also how whenever we update models, you can update your model by uploading it to the SD card. The battery life on the F751 lasts about 500 measurements and the batteries themselves are rechargeable, meaning that if you have a second set, you can continuously use this instrument for over a thousand measurements. To request a quote for the Felix Instruments F751 Mango Quality Meter, please visit our website. And if you have any support questions, visit felixinstruments.com forward slash support.